thing that we think about a lot during the season of Lent is the experience of being in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. So what does that experience mean for us now? You know, we aren't literally living in deserts and wilderness. Most of us, some of our listeners might be living in de deserts and wilderness, but what does that image mean for us as Christians? I've heard you been, I've heard you speaking about the maintenance we have to do as Christians. Like, yeah. what is that work that we must do? The wilderness is so in like, to me, it's one of the most fascinating places to be spiritually in Lent is to acknowledge that we don't, we don't have the answers. Things aren't always easy. The world tries to close in around us with the pressures of the world. Um, but I think we understand wilderness in a whole new way coming into this Lent than we did going into last Lent. Um, when last Lent started, we were still meeting in person. I had done my first um, Ash Wednesday in a new congregation. This new congregation, Baptist, really enjoys the imposition of ashes. I'd had an in-person meeting where, with 20, 30 people where we had gone through that sacred ceremony and, and remembered that we are dust, <laughs> right? <laughs> and to dust we shall return. It was beautiful. It was intimate. It was close. We were in a very small room. Um, one of my deacons did it for me after the whole service. And I just remember all of the contact, the hugging, the warmth. We entered the wilderness last year from this place of luxury and privilege. <laughs> um, and we entered quickly into a wilderness of isolation before we really understood how the virus was transmitted and we retreated to our houses and we retreated to staying indoors and maybe sending one person out shopping <laughs> for the whole family. Um, we found ourselves in a wilderness of contact. Mm 